What's up YouTube? This is my second video of the Zoom H1 repair. Uh, from the previous video, I told you guys that it is unrepairable. It is dead, but fortunately, it's alive because of uh, because of a friend that advised me what to do or how to repair this device. Okay, because from the previous video, my problem was that the SD card won't detect because I was dumb enough not to solder the shorted or the ground pins of this case it should be shorted but what i did i just i just uh, let the sd card slide right through and without any shorted ground it won't detect well i should have connected that but i thought it was it was just a connection of the sd card so i ripped the whole sd card slot and i just wired it using this enamel or this magnet wire and it was a bad idea because i just uh, you know, upon soldering it, I just ripped the PCB trace. And once I did that, after I did that, I realized, oh, I'm dead. I'm screwed. This can't be fixed. But my friend Andrew said, oh, it can still be fixed. He said that, you know, why not just find another trace? I mean, look for a shorted path to that trace. I mean, yeah, good idea. So what I did is I grabbed a multimeter and I place it in a 200 ohm setting and I placed one end, example this is a red, on that small PCB trace. Well that's so small I can't even solder a wire to it so I just meticulously placed the uh, the end on one on that trace and it carefully traced or I carefully uh, discovered or I just carefully searched for another shorted trace of that, P of that, uh, of that particular connection. It's a CMD connection to the directly to the DSP chip and that's a difficult DSP chip to handle because the packaging is really well it's not meant for repair so what I did I just searched for the short connection and lo and behold I got one and once I got one I placed uh, this magnet wire onto that larger PCB trace or that larger pad and connected this wire the other end of the wire to the SD card and what happened is that the SD card was detected so it's good. It now works basically. So here it goes. I place a double A battery, a single double A battery, and it will just display. The card can now be accessed. Before this was just 35 seconds. Now it's 27 hours, and you know it works. But the problem is I can't remove the SD card because duh, it's permanent. It's already soldered in with a wire. So I just need to have to connect this to a PC using the mini USB port, and I'm good to go. Everything works fine, and everything's good. And the LCD is now working. I mean, you can just record. You can't see the the orange. Oh, well, you can now see it. But in direct, in direct a beam of the LED, the white LED, you can't even see it because it's weak. But that's normal. So here, oh, another thing is a switch. I busted a switch. So what I did is just shorted two pins for the switch. So every time I place a battery or inserted a battery, it will just turn on and. Yeah, it will turn off once I remove the battery, which is nice because before if I leave a battery here for like two days, it will just drain the battery out. So that's a good thing. Okay, so basically I just fixed this because of Andrew Maragino. Thank you very much, Andrew. He's 